book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verses 17. But Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, your forefather is Jacob, also known as Israel. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded because you are the world without end. And we're going to start this lesson by saying, Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elect out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is Jesse back with another Bible lesson. We're going to go into only the Israelites will be saved. So we're going to uh, do a lesson only on the Israelites being saved. Now, according to these plantation, plantation Christianity churches, uh, the book of John, chapter three, verse 16, it says the whole world. But Isaiah 45 and 17 says that the Israelites are the world without end, not including the world. The Israelites are the world without end, not including all the other nations. But before we get into this lesson, Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. The Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit. And Baha Shem means in the name, all in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. So when you call on your Lord and Savior for forgiveness of sins, you call on the name of Yahweh Shah. No longer calling on that fake ass name of Jesus Christ because the letter J was invented in 1524. So there's no way your Lord and Savior name could be Jesus. It is Yahweh Shah in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. He is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. He is not white. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites of the Bible. You so-called white people, European races, starting with the elite banking families, Rothschild, Rockefellers. You are the biblical Edomites, pursuant to Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You are the devil that the Bible speaks of. But uh, let's get into this lesson. Only the Israelites will be saved. So for all y'all people that's harping on John 3, 16, Isaiah 45 and 17 is our precept to let us know that the world is referring to the Israelites, not talking about the whole entire world. Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked elite banking families love to go and change the definitions of words. So it's always important for you to look up the definition, the original definition of world. Uh, words because the word world refers to the Israelites and we're going to uh, just roll through these Bible precepts proving that only the Israelites will be saved only the Israelites will be saved Old and New Testament Jeremiah 3 and 23 and the Israelites are you so called black Hispanics and Native American Indians which uh, uh, that were uh, put into captivity during the transatlantic slave trade. You are the Israelites, the real Jews of the Bible, not the white people over there pretending to be us. They are the biblical Edomites, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the wicked. But truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitudes of the mountains. The hills and the multitudes of the mountains are the people. So you people are hoping for salvation, but there's no salvation coming to you. You so-called Edomites, white people, you don't need no saving for nobody. You go home to your big ass fucking house and uh, with your nice ass job and your fancy fucking cars. You don't need no saving from nobody. It's the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians that needs to be saved. Saved from your asses. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitudes of the mountains. Truly in the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, our power is the salvation of Israel. The salvation of Israel and only Israel. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The elect. The elect, the 144,000 out of the 12 tribes of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Second Ezra 6 and 56, as for the other people, which also come from Adam, the other nations out here, thou hast said that they are nothing. The Lord said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falls from a vessel. So the Lord said that you other nations, non-Israelite nations, you are nothing to him. And let's go ahead and I'm get this Bible precept. 
son downloaded all these games. Uh, hold on, let me get back to it. That's for the other people, which also come out of this. Okay, yeah, I got it. I lost it for a second, but I got it. That's why the Lord makes this statement. Okay, we can just read from here. Psalms chapter 2, verses 7. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance. We're going to inherit these nations. These nations belong to us. And in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to, we're going to rule over these nations. And the Lord is, and this is the Lord talking to Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. But you got to remember that we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. So whatever Yahweh Shah receives, we're going to get. So this statement is to the elect of the nation of Israel. Ask me, and this is the Lord, and this is God talking. Ask me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possessions. You shall break them with a rod of iron and you shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. And that's what's going to happen to all you other nations because all nations had the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians in slavery, not just the um, white people. It was the Arabs. All of them played a part in the transatlantic slave trade. You go into Google and you type in the transatlantic slave trade map and you'll see that we were scattered through all the nations. All of them played a part in this. That's why the Lord makes this statement as well. That's why the Lord makes this statement. See, the Lord is going to gather all nations up and judge them for what they did to, to the Israelites. Joel chapter 3 verses 2. And I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them for my people and my heritage, Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Scattered us into all nations. Joel chapter three, verses two, right there. That's what happened. We got scattered into all nations. Verse number three, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Isn't that what they did during the transatlantic slave trade? So and uh verse number four goes into all and into all the people. Like check this out. Yeah, yeah, and what have you to do with Tyree or Zidon? These are um countries in Africa and all the coasts of Palestine, and those are the Ismaelites, the Arabs. Will you render me recompense? And if you recompense me. Swiftly and speedily, I will return recompense upon your own head. That means your ass has to go into slavery. Arabs, the Africans, because we're not Africans. We're Israelites. Africans are from uh, the lineage of Ham. We are, we are two totally different people. Just because we got dark skin color doesn't mean we're Africans. We are Israelites. There's a big difference between us and them. Because you have taken my silver and gold and carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things. The children also of Judah, the blacks, 
and the children of Jerusalem, the Hispanics and Native American Indians, have you sold into the Grecians, the so-called white people, that you might remove them far from their borders. And that's exactly what they did to us. But the Lord is only here to save the Israelites. Let's get back to it. Psalms chapter 50, verses 16. But unto the wicked, God said, What has thou to do to declare my statutes, uh, that thou shalt take my covenant in thy mouth? And that's what the Lord is saying to all you other nations that's out there reading the Bible. Put my fucking Bible down. What the fuck are you doing? I did not give the law, statutes, or commandments to you. I gave them to the Israelites is what the Lord is saying. You're tripping. What have you to do to declare my statutes? Is what the Lord is saying. Put my fucking Bible down, white people, Asian people. Put, put his Bible down. Korean people, Africans. Put his Bible down. This Bible is not for you. It's for the Israelites. You are the wicked. Romans 9, chapter 3. And look, check this out. For I wish that I I wish that myself was a curse from Hamashiach Yahawashai for my brethren, for my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Blood brothers. You have to be a blood relative, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not Esau, not Ismail, not any of them other people. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you so-called Black, Hispanics, Native American Indians, according to the flesh. It ain't no such thing as no spiritual Israelites or none of that. You have to be an Israelite according to the blood, the flesh. Verse number four, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption, the glory and the covenant and the giving, giving of the law and the service of God. The service of God only goes to the Israelites. The giving of the law only goes to the Israelites. The adoption and the glory only goes to the Israelites. What about the other people? Romans 9 and 21. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor the Israelites and, unto, and another unto dishonor the Edomites and you other nations? You are the vessels fitted for dishonor. And the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, starting with the elect, you are the vessel of honor verse number 22 what if god willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endure much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction so the lord is putting up with these edomites these so-called white people for a long time but the lord if the lord wants to show his wrath like he did to pharaoh uh in the first in, uh in the egypt captivity he's going to show his power so he, he's enduring, he's putting up with these white people, but he's going to, they're fitted for destruction. John chapter four, verses 22. And this is for all you Christians out there that go to church on Sunday. You worship, ye not know what. We know what we worship because for salvation is of the Jews. Salvation is only for the Jews, the Israelites. It is not for everybody. You are lied to in church. And we can go ahead and end this lesson by saying, Call Allah Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elect out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Only the Israelites will receive salvation. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, starting with the elect and their innumerable multitude. Salvation is only for you. All these other nations, uh, Chinese people, Korean people, uh, Arabs, white people that are going into hardcore slavery for what they did to the Israelites. God, according to uh, 2nd Ezra 6 and 56, God hates those motherfuckers. He doesn't need be unto spittle. He thinks that you other nations are spit on the ground. And, uh, oh yeah, let's go ahead and get this last one. lesson with this one the book of deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 and i'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that to my notes so when we do a lesson on this again we'll have that one ready to go for thou art an holy people unto the lord thy god the lord thy god have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are on upon the face of the earth 
what is the definition of a racist? Let's get that one before I roll. Characterizing by or showing prejudice, discrimination, and antagonism against a person or people on the basis of their membership in particular racial ethnic group, typically one that is minority or marginalized. Yeah, that, that's the one I want. A belief that race is a fundamental detriment of human traits and capacities and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. God is racist. According to your definition of racist, Deuteronomy 7, chapter 7, verse 6, a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We are special people. We are above all those other heathens. You Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. It's time to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. That means keep his commandments to the best of your abilities. And when you do fail, because you will fail, a just man falls seven times but get back up. So that means when you do sin, because only one person is perfect, and that's Yahweh Shah. So you're going to sin. But it's your job to repent in the name of Yahweh Shah and to try not to sin the next day. And if you're an able-bodied man, you're supposed to be teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end this lesson by saying, Call the law Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rekakadash. Double honors to the elect out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This lesson is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Quam, quam Yasharala.